Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we did these in the last video, the um, tapestry numbers. So we're gonna continue doing them. This time I'm gonna use red and green, They're kind of Christmassy. And I'm still using my 6.5. Let's get started. There's only 16 rows. So we start with a slip knot. You're going to chain 12. You're going to do 11 single crochets back up. This is 11 for me. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. So round two, I'm going to do two single crochets with my color A. But on my second stitch, I'm going to incorporate, so I'm going to pull up a loop, but I'm going to finish that stitch with my color B. So I'm going to finish the stitch with my color B. Now I weave in all this mess at the back, so you're going to need to pull down on your A, make sure everything's tight. Weaving in your A and B stragglers at the back. With your color B, you're going to do six single crochets. On my sixth stitch, I'm going to finish that with my color A, pulling down on everything, making it nice and snug. And with my color A, I'm going to do the last three single crochets. So the last stitch is your turning over stitch. The one that likes to be a pain in the butt. So this first one might be a real pain in the butt to get through both these pieces, but just make sure you're going to weave in your color B at the back. This little color B tail, that can get snipped off. And your attached color B you're going to chain one and you're going to take your color B and put it now in the front where you're going to weave it in. So round three is going to be with your color A, two single crochets. So on your second one, you're going to finish it with your color B, pulling down on everything. Color B is going to be three single crochets. Oh, so quiet when that furnace goes off. But if we don't have the air running, it would be horrible. So on your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your color A, pulling down on everything. Color A is going to be two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish it with your color B, pulling down on everything. Color B is going to be three single crochets. On 
on your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your color A. Color A is going to be one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Round four is going to be seven single crochets with your color A. Just making sure you get into the right stitches. That's my seven single crochets, so I'm going to finish it with my color B. With B, I'm going to do three single crochets. With my On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A, and color A will be one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Round five is going to be one single crochet with your color A. So you're going to come in and basically pull up a loop and you're going to finish it with your color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So on the second stitch, you're going to finish it with your color A. Color A is going to be eight single crochets. Chain one. You can unravel your work. So just give a few turns until you're unraveled. Round six is going to be eight single crochets with your A. On your eighth stitch, you're going to finish it with your color B. Color B, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish it with your color A. Color A is going to be one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Round seven is going to be one single crochet. So you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to instantly finish it with your color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So we're just following along with what we already have. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish that with your color A and color A is going to be eight single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round eight is going to be seven single crochets. 
with your color A. So on your seventh stitch, you're going to finish it with your color B. Color B is going to be three single crochets. You're going to finish that third stitch with your color A, and then you're going to do one single crochet with your color A. Chain one, turn your work. Round nine is going to be two single crochets with your color A. So you're going to finish your second stitch with your color B, and with color B you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish this third stitch with your color A. And you're going to do six single crochets with your color A. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10, you're going to do 7 single crochets with your color A. That's 7, so I'm going to finish that 7th stitch with my color B. Color B is going to be 3 single crochets. So on the third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A. Color A is going to be one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Round 11 is going to be one single crochet with your color A, so I'm going to finish that with my color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets, so I'm going to finish the second stitch with my color A. Color A is going to be eight single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 12 is going to be four single crochets with your color A. So on your fourth stitch, you're going to finish it with your color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. You're going to finish the second stitch with your color A. Color A is going to be one single crochet, so you're basically pulling up a loop and finishing it with B. B is going to be three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your color A and do your one single crochet. Chain one, 
Jade one, turn your work. Round 13 is one single crochet with your color A. So you're going to finish that with your color B. Color B is going to be five single crochets. So in my fifth one, I'm going to finish it with my color A. My color A, I'm going to do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. I'm going to unravel. For the next three rows, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch. Looks like a horrible letter number three. I don't think I picked a very good graph can to follow. I'm going to weave in my red. So I can cut my red off at this point. And then the last two rows are just 11 single crochet. So, you can fasten off. That's your number three. So, let's just weave in our ends very politely. And I'll see you back here to do number four. On to number four. I'll use the same colors. A will be green. So you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain 12 and do 11 single crochets. So chain one, turn your work. Here, do 11 single crochets. <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking. I swear to God, some of this forest fire smoke is getting into the house. Uh, I live in Ontario, so we've had a bunch of really bad forest fires, just like out west. You're going to do 11 single crochets with the color A. This round's going to be easy peasy. Just make sure you have 11 stitches. Chain 
chain one, turn your work. So we're going to start incorporating the color. <clears throat> Round three is going to be three single crochets. So on your third stitch, you're going to pull up a loop and add your color. So weaving in the two stragglers, the, the green and the, the red at the back, or whatever color you're using, with your color B you're going to do three single crochets. So on your third stitch, you're going to finish that with your color A, pulling down on everything. Now I got two red stragglers at the back. With your color A, you're going to do five single crochets, making sure to weave in all that other crap at the back. Chain one, turn your work. Well, that's not turned quite yet. Let's cut off this red little piece. So round four is gonna be five single crochets with your color A. So this is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my color B. With my color B, I'm going to do two single crochets. On my second stitch, I'm going to finish that with my color A. With my color A, I'm going to do four single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. Your next round is going to be three single crochets. This is round five. Three single crochets with your color A. So on your third stitch, you're going to finish it with the color B. Color B is going to be four single crochets. You're going to finish your fourth stitch with your color A. Color A is going to be four single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. Round six is going to be one single crochet with your color A. So I'm going to finish that with my color B. Color B is going to be eight single crochets. So on my eighth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A and I'm going to do my last two single crochets with my color A. Chain one, turn your work. Round 
round seven is going to be three single crochets with my color A. So on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish that with my color A. Color A is going to be two single crochets. So I'm going to finish my second stitch with my color B. Color B is going to be three single crochets. So on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A. Color A is going to be one single crochet. Chain one. I'm going to unravel. Round eight is going to be two single crochets with my color A. So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color B. Hold down on everything. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A. Color A is going to be two single crochets. <laughs> So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish that with my color B. Color B is going to be three single crochets. And on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A. And color A is going to be two single crochets. Chain one. Turn your work. Round nine is going to be two single crochets with my color A. So on my second one, I'm going to finish the stitch with my color B. Color B, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish the second stitch with my color A. Color A is going to be two single crochets. So I'm going to finish that second stitch with my color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So I'm going to finish that second stitch with my color A. And with my color A, I'm going to do my last three single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. There's a lot involved in making a number four. Round 10. Round 10 is going to be four single crochets with your color A. So on my fourth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. going to finish it with my color A. Color A is going to be one, so I'm basically going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my color B. Color B is going to be two single crochets. So on my second one, I'm going to finish it with my color A. And then I'm going to do two single crochets to finish the row with my color A. Chain 
chain one. Round 11 is going to be one single crochet with your color A. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my color B. My color B is going to be five single crochets. So on my fifth stitch, I'm going to finish it with my color A. With my color A, I'm going to do five single crochets, weaving in my red at the back. Oh, now we're having a thunderstorm outside. The weather has been so weird. Chain one, turn your work. I don't know if you guys could hear that. My camera picked it up. That was thunder. Round 12, we're going to do seven single crochets with color A. That's my seven, so I'm going to finish it with my color B. With my color B, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish that with my color A, and with my color A, I'm going to do my one single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Just about done. I have a window open down here because I work in the basement now and I think some of the smoke is coming in. It is so dark outside, let me tell you. It is 1.44 p.m. It's quarter to two. It looks like it's 10 o'clock at night outside. And there's so much smoke. And I got my window open just for air circulation, but oh my gosh. Uh, for the next four rows, you're just going to do 11 single crochets with your color A. So I'm going to weave in my red just for this one row. So you can just fasten off once you're done, weave in your ends. So there again, if you don't like the artifact, the sleeves on the side, you can just do a one single crochet all the way around, clean it up. And there is your number four. So your three and four are now complete. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.